okay so there there's one of my posts it has the real thin wire on it and I don't know if I, I'll try to pan catch the other post out here it's in the field it's hard to do it's hard to catch them there's the other post that's out in the field right there connecting so I got that post connected and as you come over here I make a box I have another post right here connected running and then that post comes to the post that's right here in front of us and connects it's way up there <laughs> I can't even get it up the whole camera anyway that post connects to my wires and I have you can see that I have insulators on each one of my posts here and so then I have the main wire runs off of this post here and goes straight to uh, to the uh, tester or to the capacitor and the uh, diodes I've got set up. So that's basically it. It's just a straight, simple, it's telephone wire, single, a single strand of telephone wire. As I've done this, it's, it's making aerial antenna out of that. And so, or they call it the free energy antenna, whatever they call it. And anyway, I'll turn the, I'll, I'll change here. The ground wire and one diode on the antenna wire and we'll check the voltage on it and uh, see what we get. Okay, going to the ground here and to the antenna, 72 point, it's jumping, 9, 72, 72 volts doing that. That, that to me is amazing, just 72, and that's AC. AC volts coming through with just one diode of ground and antenna wire. My ground just goes to a couple pieces of copper pipe about three foot in the ground is all it is. Yeah, I need to show you that on film also, I guess. So anyway, oh, we're up to 73 volts. So that's crazy. That's just with a diode. That's just a diode on there. With a ground wire and antenna wire. That's all that is. It's nuts. Okay, this is my ground rod, one of my ground rods right here. And uh, it won't come into focus, that figures. Anyway, I have that ground rod and then it just runs straight to here. To a copper ground rod if I can ever find it. Can't see nothing on film sometimes. All right, here's my copper ground rods. See, I just got them tied around it. It's not, nothing fancy. And the camera won't get in focus for me. Figures it's getting dark. And it's just a, it's like an eight foot copper rod that I put in the ground. It goes in the ground probably about three feet, something like it. And then I have a second rod here beside of it. Right here that I grounded to. So I got two of the copper ground wire uh, rods in about three feet. Then I've got a metal ground rod about three feet in right here, and then it and it all goes back to uh, the other ground, and then that's it for ground. That's all I'm using right here as of right now. Real simple, drive a rod in the ground, put a wire on it. Anyway, we'll, we'll, again, you can see that this is all I've got right here going. I got a diode connected to an antenna wire to a ground wire. And that's it. That's just a bit one of the bigger diodes that you get at Radio Shack. No, no big deal. I don't, and I don't know if it's. It, I mean, I don't know what brand it is. I just say, give me one. Doesn't seem to matter. So, you take that. You try to get it in here, or you see it, and I'll and I'll I'll do, hit it again just to show you that you know I'm not trying to scam nobody. This is what's going on. This is getting electricity. So. Here we go, we'll check it one more time. We'll go to ground, and we'll go to the antenna wire, then we'll go to ground, and we're 72, 78 volts coming off the antenna to the ground wire between it and the uh, diode. So there you go, I mean, there, again, it's, it's free energy out of the air going on here, is what's happening, and that's all I can explain. And I hope, and again, I hope you enjoy the video. This is pretty interesting stuff, I think. And uh, get out and do the experiments yourself. And uh, thank you a lot for watching.